I'd like to start by fully disclosing this is my first audio recording because, well, I'm bashful and my voice isn't audio worthy. All right, I'm going to start off by showing this drill I used to mix the concrete, which proved to be a time saver. Don't let the angle of the video discourage that beast's sheer size. I know I may be short, but really, this thing came up to my chest. Let's take a closer look at the power of this tool. Beats hand mixing any day, that's for sure. After pouring the concrete into the molds, it was time to eliminate air bubbles by shaking and turning. Further leveling off and smoothing with a trowel. Awkward interruption. Even after all the leveling, the stepping stone still had jagged edges, which was probably from the concrete mix I used. So it was a real nail-biter for me to use the bottom of the planter mold to incorporate the overall design. Ah, well, live and learn. I found this smaller, spatula-looking trowel had better results. Moving on, after letting the concrete cure for a full 24 hours, mostly in the sun and brought inside overnight, the time had come to unmold. This process was significantly easier from using cooking spray prior to pouring the concrete. See how the concrete fell out of the flag jello mold smoothly with just a little gentle tap and pry? The bigger stepping stone caused me concern due to its size when trying to flip it over, but again, the cooking spray really helped. Now the more intricate wavy jello mold required a bit more force, hence the wooden board as opposed to my flimsy cardboard paint box. I thought it'd be fun to show you a little time-lapse, or my best Speedy Gonzalez impression, on the painting process, starting with spray paint. Followed by hand painting the stepping stone using a simple acrylic or craft paint. Admittedly, this process took the longest because, well, for one, I can't seem to paint a straight line for the life of me, and two, slow and steady seemed like it was the best method to avoid making mistakes. Another random interruption. I actually had to move into the sun because it was cold and I was starting to shiver. I don't know, shade always does that to me. Looking back, it really could have impacted the already imperfect lines. Speaking of lines, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so it was driving me crazy with unstraight lines. But once it was all said and done, the hand-painted imperfection really added to its appeal, or at least to me. And now, the moment you all have been waiting for, the grand finale, a montage of the finished garden stones, stepping stones, cement planters, concrete votives, or whatever you want to call this collection. Well, that's all the video captured for my cement creations. Hope you enjoyed this little commentary, and thanks for watching.